Hi there, welcome back. This is part two. I had to cut the video uh, into two parts because I've actually reached the maximum filming capacity. And this will be the second part where I actually show you how I do the final dress out stage of the hair rope. Just to recap, we took three sections, section one, section two, section three, three ponytails, wrapped the hair, placed them into bands and created these ribbon effects. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a visual if you're coming on to this video straight away, you might want to go to part one of the video, which is how we created this lovely free bows using free ponytails. I'm now gonna show you the dressing part. So we got to the final part of this stage. You can see I've connected all the ribbons of the free bows into one another. And it's really up to you what you create here. If the hair was thicker, I'd probably work with something, maybe even like curls, or you could even apply a, a hair piece onto this section if it was thicker, and a fishtail plaque going right way down the back. That would look so amazing. But um, it's quite small, so I'm just sort of gonna experiment maybe with something like a bow just underneath, like a final singular bow. I think that would look lovely. So if you're working with slightly finer hair, of course there's always a little bit of limitations, but you might want to consider actually working with hair pieces. Now hair pieces at an endpoint assessment would actually help you push towards more of that distinction. But of course, we always advise with caution to make sure you're fully aware and that you've fully practiced working with the piece on your model. So as you can see, I've actually just sort of smoothed that section through right here. I'm now going to take that and I'm going to wrap it into place and I'm just going to wrap up to see what I'm going to create. Yes, this will look lovely. I'm going to do that one more time. A little bit tighter and I'm going to place a pin into the section, open it up, do my nail. Another section there. Just do that, I just need to uh, change this slightly. A little bit just popped out, if you can see here. So what I'm going to do is, if that happened, you could just loop it into one of your bows and then loop it through here and I'm going to hide it into this bow. So I'm, I'm getting creative now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to really fan this out a little bit more. There we go. Because sometimes things don't always go your way when you do a hair up, as we know. So if that happens, like a little piece, little piece pop pinged out, like I didn't catch it on my pin, just think, well, where could it go? Rather than sort of be pulling all the sections out, because sometimes you're asking for trouble, really, if you start pulling all your pins out, because it can actually compromise the overall structure of the hair, the hairstyle. I'm just working on really smoothing those ends. Okay. That's lovely. I'm going to work with a little bit more hairspray and then I'm just going to fan out these bows just a little bit more just as they're setting with that final set of spray and you can see this is the final hair up. I'm going to pop her straight now but what I'm going to do is show you how to refine so I'm just going to, here we go, that's great, she's straight. Yes, yes, she is. That's great. So what you want to do now is you want to spend a few minutes refining. So this is sort of like your last stage. Now, typically, the, ha the habit tends to be, oh, well, I've done it and I've finished. But what you want to do is you want to start really critically analysing your hair. So like already I can see there's a lot of like flyaways and these little bits that I can sort of manicure just to make it a little bit more presentable. So I'm actually going to work with a toothbrush at this point. Now the reason why I'm working with a toothbrush is because I can work in really, really small sections and I'm going to actually spray the actual um, brush with hairspray. And now what this is going to enable me to do, it's going to enable me to really polish a section. You could use a mascara brush. That also works quite well. 
um, but again it's going to sort of allow me to really polish this hair up just to that really fine perfected stage that we actually want to get to so again i can just keep spraying the brush i don't need to spray the hair at this stage and then what i can do is start to just really manicure section through and i'm using actually both sides of the toothbrush here i'm just gonna work through i'm gonna use my tail comb as well at this point and i'm just gonna really smooth out that section here and again just use any little bits to just sort of refine 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 and you can spend just a few moments just doing that and then once you feel happy you can start to work with your final layer of hairspray I'm going to continue working with the toothbrush. I'm going to smooth the top of the bow now. This is going to help me create that really super smooth look. Just on that top bow. Okay, again, because you know we want to look at the visual and what the client's actually seeing. And this side's a lot more manicured. You'll always tend to find that you've got one side better than the other. So again, you'll always look at your, your weaker side the most in terms of it being in need of any work. I'm going to work with hairspray in the brush, hairspray in the toothbrush, and then again, just smoothing those. This is really great for those clients with quite difficult hairlines, um, just sort of really sort of smoothing that section in there. And just to really help you get that sort of very nice kind of smooth look. I'm just going to work through and finish off the hair up in the same fashion. And then this is going to give me this nice refinement. But there's only you that really can ultimately critique your own work to this level. Um, and you've got to just really sort of keep asking yourself, how can I improve it? What can I do to maintain it? What can I do to ensure that it's durable and that's going to last? Because I think that's probably one of the key, absolutely is the key, one of the key aspects of hair up is making sure that it's actually durable and that it will last. Okay, so you can see we've actually completed the front parts of the sections and I'm just gonna work through these side sections in the same way and then we'll round up. Again, working for this is really great for all of your hairline. So I'm actually going to pick all of these hairs up in the same way. I'm actually going to work to smooth all these sections down. Now I'll keep switching between the tail comb and the toothbrush to create that really smooth lock. And then that's just sort of create that really nice smooth. And then exactly the same on the opposite side. Again, let's switch back to just working with these two brush sections, just and that will do your hairline. She doesn't really have much of a hairline because she is a mannequin. <laughs> so and then just work through just the tailor sections. There she go. And then final layer of spray. And then the refinement stage is complete. Okay. So just to round up, we've worked with three ponytails. That was three ponytails starting at the crown and um, just above the occipital and just below the occipital. We've then um, placed hair to wrap around the elastics. And then we created this bow-like effect by dividing the hair into three. And then we did two barrels at either side and then looped the third section on to create these lovely, 
little tiny unique sort of bows. These would look really amazing in different colours and you could use colour elastic bands, you could use actual ribbon around the base which also would be really fun and very easy to do. So this is a perfect classic fundamental hair up that you could utilise for a wedding, a party, for people of all ages and also as a model for an endpoint assessment. Okay, I'm going to be uploading this to our YouTube channel and also our Instagram. I hope that you have enjoyed today's session. If you have any comments or questions, you can always DM us at MJTS underscore Manchester. And I will see you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.